create new opportunities that can track status, value, and estimated close dates, and tailor custom fields to suit your business. Schedule timely activities to keep your deals moving. Let's take a look at opportunities in Act 365. At the top, you can sort your opportunities by grid or by list. In the grid view, opportunities will be sorted by stage. You can see summary data at the top of each of these columns. If you want, you can use the sort button to sort within each stage by alphabet, creation date, modified date, and values. Also on the grid view, you can drag and drop an opportunity from one stage to another. In the list view, you'll see a three column view here where you can apply filters in the first column, sorting in the second, and details for the opportunity in the third. In the first column, this pipeline graph shows you all open opportunities based upon the stage. You can change this chart to show value or the number of opportunities in each stage. If you click any of the bars in this chart, it'll show only the opportunities based upon that stage that you selected. In the second column, you can sort by title, creation date, modified date, and value again, and then you can click each individual opportunity to see its details. On the details view of an opportunity, the name of the opportunity will always be listed at the top next to the current stage that it's in. Below that is the total value, and again the stage, and then any contacts who are associated with this opportunity. From here you could send a direct email to this contact or even an e-marketing campaign. The tabs below show additional pieces of information, such as activities that are scheduled with this contact, any notes that are about the opportunity, and more details considering that opportunity's information. You can check several of these boxes to update stages for more than one opportunity at the same time. When you click Save, the pipeline adjusts immediately. Opportunities are easy to edit also. From the detail view of an opportunity, just click the Edit button on the upper right corner. And from here, you can change the opportunity name, description, associated contacts, total value of the opportunity, the stage of the opportunity, estimated closing date, and more. To create an opportunity, click the Add Opportunity in the upper right corner. Give your opportunity a name, a description, to assign it to a contact, start typing the name of the contact, and then you can choose them from the list below. Give your opportunity a value, a currency type, and a stage. And further on, you need to give it an estimated closing date, and any custom fields that you may have set up ahead of time. When you click Save, that opportunity will be created and added to your list. The final thing I want to show you are the interactive charts for opportunities. To access them, click this Charts button at the top of the screen. There are two types of charts to see here, your pipeline by user by month or your pipeline by stage by month. The pipeline by user is a monthly chart that shows the value of opportunities assigned to each of your users each month. The information here is calculated on the estimated closing dates for your opportunities. The pipeline by stage by month chart is another monthly chart, and this shows you the value of your opportunities by the stage they're currently in, and it separates them into the estimated closing dates by month. You can hover over any of the bars in this chart to get the exact amount for that section of the bar. Beneath this chart, you can click the squares to apply filters concerning specific stages. A quick way to filter out all stages but one is to click on any section of the chart itself. Now only that stage is shown. Furthermore, you can click the bar again and Act 365 will display each of the opportunities that are currently in that stage for that month. If you have any questions, you can always go to the help area at the bottom left and click Success Center to get additional help.